Both guys have got crazy knockout highlight reels. Do not blink. I'm curious if we're going to see the kicking game. I, I think that could be a big difference here. Stosic giving away a height advantage. Vudarek obviously taller and has the reach. But Stosic will know that because he's small at the weight. And, you know, you learn to fight the way you are with the talents you have and he's always going to be able to recognize that he's got to fight up moving the ring well he's already been clipped there's a double takedown the legs were caught and he's in that side control position who'd have thought this would happen that early on really smart i mean vuderick was chasing the knockout it's just like his last fight but the problem was is he overstepped usually you kind of want the footwork and the hands to work in unison and i think darko saw it really smart i didn't see that coming Oh, good low kick, and uh, Stosic reels from that, and Vudarek back in on the hunt. And I mean, you know, if you just turned on and joined us here at KSW TV, and you imagine you're watching Lord of the Rings, then believe it, because this is a battle of armies. And again, Vudarek falls foul, that double leg shoot. That's Stosic's absolute forte here tonight, isn't it? Vodarek is just heavy on his lead foot. That's what it is. And and Stoshi just reading that lead leg and it's heavy and it's taking him down at will right now. Two two take two shots, two takedowns. Really good job. Really smart game plan. I mean, professional fighter right there, high level. So Vudarek now working off his back. He's holding Stosic in that half guard. But Stosic likes being on the mat, doesn't he? Who would have thought those grappling skills would come this early? But uh, does Vudarek like being there? I would say, yeah, I mean, this is probably not where he would ideally want to be. Um, yeah, he can hang. He's definitely been around the block. He's been con contending in KSW for years, so this won't be the first time he's seen it. But, yeah, Vudarek, uh, let's say, you know, submissions off his back, maybe not his forte. It's not to say he doesn't have him, though. And Stoshi is, uh, is a joker. He's a black belt in judo. He's been doing this since he was seven years old. Uh, I had a nice 20-minute interview with him last week, and uh, we talked a lot about that growing up. Absolutely, you know, been in MMA since he was a very young child. I uh, started with with uh, judo and then he moved on to MMA at about age of 14, 15. Well, Vudarek doing a very good job working off his back here, spoiling Stosic, really. Close the guard. But look at that hammer fist come Kurama. down. This is dangerous territory. These are big guys, and I tell you now, that's a whole, whole lot of pain if some of these pan, uh, punches land. Nice control here from Vudarek. I mean, Stosic was trying to use the can opener technique to work the guard and try to facilitate an opening. I think standing and passing might not be a bad thing right now, but he's clearly confident in his power. I mean, the guy is dynamite in the can. He's well, so here explosive. starts to come the pain now as he brings in the hands, and Stosic driving forward through that, and he's got the power, that uh, thigh musculature. He's able to push right through, and he's causing Vudarek all kinds of problems here now, and he really is all over this. His uh, ground and pound, just use how he uses his hips into that. It's uh, Mark Munoz taught me that really well. He was, he was call him Donkey Kong style, where he would just turn his hips and come down rather than just using his shoulders. Watch this, watch, watch, watch. It's gonna come down hard. Very nice, solid. Great lands, control from the top. Lands very solidly, doesn't he there? And uh, tries to uh, break guard there, pass guard. and does so successfully, but no, Vudarek has a miraculous escape, follows through with the punches and straight through the front door. A lot of energy expended by Stosic now, and uh, Vudarek, well, almost looked as if he was resting on his back because now he starts to bring the pressure again. It's exactly what I was looking for. I thought that Stosic wanted to kind of stand and work the pass. The second he was able to do so, Vudarek allowed it and then used the scramble as an opportunity to stand up. Well, we've just over a minute left in this first round. Vudarek again falls foul of the double leg takedown. I mean, you couldn't write or read that in a book. Stosic now puts his man where he wants him. And again, Vudarek having to work off his back here. Closes the guard very quickly. But Stosic now pushing through there really powerfully again. He's trying to crowd him and work him up against the fence. But I think, again, footwork. It needs to be there, and he completely overstepped. An easy double leg there for Stosic. And you know, you mentioned the judo ground game. Judokas, they just are so good on top with that control. Fodadik is just just not thinking right now, you know what I mean? He's looking for the knockout, he's going hard, whereas he's not paying attention to what his opponent's trying to do. His opponent is reading his lead leg, he's coming in heavy, throwing those bombs, getting under it, shooting a nice double leg, he's on top position again. Now he's got to fight from the bottom. So it's a tough night for Vudarek in the office. We've just got uh, 15 seconds left in this first round, so we're on the 10-second clapper. Stosic now not able to really capitalize on this, but he's bringing some big shots, and Vudarek got some trouble with the right eye. 
That's not going to bode well going into the second round. There's the bell. Very skilled fighter. So, uh, you know, Vuderek comes to this with pedigree. We go to two of a scheduled three at heavyweight. Darko Stosic fighting blue. Mihai Vuderek fighting red. If you get a chance, just watch Vuderek's feet, his lead eat foot. It's just very, very heavy. He steps in very heavy with that. And, and Stosic is timing that. And he's, that's how he's getting his shots. And that's how he's taking out the legs like that. He's just so heavy with that lead foot. Well, we've seen absolute lightning speed with the double leg takes takedowns from Stosic. Maybe he'll switch it up here, keep out of danger. But you just have to watch Vuderek when he lays those gloves on you. That really is like, you know, number four on the Richter scale. He is a heavy, hard hitter. And he's come here to put, uh, no doubt that Stosic, you know, it will go down. There's a, an attempt at a guillotine, couldn't pull it off, but again on his back. It's a difficult, difficult position to work from. I was a bit surprised. He kind of was happy to accept the overhook there and just, if I'm him, I'm pummeling, man, and I'm really working to defend that because now he's going to have to work several times as hard to get back up where he clearly wants to be. Christoph, what do you think the game plan is now? Vuderak, start of this second round. We've got three minutes or over left to go. He's on his back again. What does he need to do? I mean, he needs to get up. He needs to work his underhooks. He needs to hip away. Like he's look at this. He's got a closed guard. You, you can't have a closed guard in this situation. There you go. Nice, nice, real nice job. Use the hips, push away. He's back up on his feet. Nice. That's exactly what you want to do right now. He had a knee on the way up, and he's just taken a left hook. And he's taken a left and a right, and this could be trouble zone for Vuderak. He's taken two big shots from Stosic. Stosic, though, there's the confidence. He steps back. Vuderek has a chance to recover here, but he's shaken. This could be the writing on the wall. He's got a chin well, but that was some firepower. Clearly wobbled. Stashi's a powerhouse, man. And look how smart he is, right? Three, four shots, and he stepped back a little bit, weighed his game. Now back to the takedown again on top, looking for the finish. Nice job. Such a, such a high level right here. So side control now. That was the danger zone right there. But look at the power. Vuderic keeps coming back. I mean, you know you, you've got to put a stake through this guy's heart to keep him down. But he's taking too many shots now, Vuderic. But I've seen him come back from this. But just look at the power that Stosic can muster up there. The musculature in the arms. On the wire now. A little bit of space. And uh, both fighters now blowing. And Vuderic comes in. Pummeling. Like Pistons, double leg takedown down to the mat. Wow, this is attritional. That's crazy, man. I mean, three or four times he's been able to stand up from this position in the middle of the ring without even using the fence. I cannot remember the last time at, at heavyweight I've seen something like that, but the takedown again given up. Darko happy to be here. I'm still a little confused by Vodatic's style of going in, let, trying to throw five, six straight strikes, walking forward, bringing his feet close together when his opponent is looking for the double leg shot. He's done it three, four times now. He's like fourth or fifth shot right now. He's back down on the bottom. And this is not going to end well if he keeps doing this. He's doing a great job of getting up, but once again, he's doing the same exact thing on top when he's standing and he's getting taken down constantly. Yeah, it's definitely been hard yards for uh, Vuderek here, first round and second round. But uh, he has come back from that. Yeah, he has. I just didn't see the strategy from either guy coming into this. I mean, not to say they can't do it, but I was thinking knockout merchant. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, and right at the beginning, I said, if this goes the, the distance, <laughs> the whole three rounds, it'll be a surprise. But it uh, uh, looks like it's going there. We've got one minute left in the second, but it's been high level at this weight. And I have to say that the power and the, well, horror intent uh, you know, potential from both fighters has just been right up there. But uh, closed guard and uh, Vuderek working off his back, trying to spoil Stosic as much as possible. It's just a real, real smart game plan by Darko. Yeah, and good activity, I think, as well from Vuderek to keep it competitive. So, but for sure, Darko winning both these rounds. Good short punches here on the inside. I, I think nothing potentially fight ending. I'd like to see him stand and try to pass like he did earlier. Here we go, much better. Work a leg drag. Ooh, oh, there it is. Oh, that's that's out. It. That was a knockout. That's it. It's all over. Sick. It's a knockout. Beautiful. Oh, Stosic delivers a Eight. big right hand there. Oh, and Vuderek up for the count there. That's a knockout. 
match here in the second round wow. at KSW 59. Wow, Amazing. that was absolutely stunning firepower. Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you what, this guy is dangerous at both ends. There's no two ways about it. Darko Stosic, plug and play. Vudarek wakes up, he's smiling, but that's because I think he thinks he's in heaven. Unbelievable, man. Wow. Darko Sosic has got crazy power. It only took one. Who would have thought it would have happened in that position on the mat? The right hand put him out. It's that hip power. He threw everything from the hip. It's almost like he threw the guys with that legs off to the side right here and just came down straight down with that one shot. Boom. Done. Lights out. You can see what the Vodadic's eyes done. Well, Vudarak, DOA after that shot. Great call from referee Thomas Bronda. He was on that right from the get-go when he saw Stosic's right arm go up. He knew that was a, a call maker, but uh, the Croatian fighter, what an impact here he's made tonight, making his KSW debut. Well, you know, as Christoph said, you don't come from the high level at UFC having the opponents that he's had and uh, turn up here for a boring fight. It certainly wasn't that. Szanowni Państwo, walka skończyła się w rundzie we drugiej the official po czterech minutach i czterdziestu sekundach. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by KO, Darko Storm!